Revolution. Yo, Wagwan, it's that guy. Definitely here doing a little review dreadlocks kind over on Reddit. If you haven't joined the Reddit community just yet, Definitely don't waste any more time and hit that link down below and join the community This is the place where you can come and send pictures send videos ask questions uh, Basically anything to do regarding not nation dreadlocks free forms locks in general um, Basically, we're just building a chat forum So um, I'll leave a link in the description for anybody interested in joining on reddit If you haven't heard of reddit stop living under a rock and jump on here because it's probably the biggest website on the internet uh, beyond Google, YouTube, and Alibaba. So um, definitely um, do yeah, due diligence. But I'm just going to do a little bit of a review and see what kind of pictures have been posted on here. So without further ado, let's jump uh, right in. Perfect. So first post coming here from Fresh Diamond, eight month locked dreaded mohawk. Fresh Diamond's got some sick locks here. Dreaded Mohawk is kind of like a high top, but not shaved at the back, making it a, a, a faux hawk in a sense. Uh, he's doing the free form route, and these are pretty short. So, I mean, once he gets to his first year mark, it's a great lock anniversary to be accomplishing. Uh, and you're starting to notice some real growth, like around the two and a half year mark. Uh, so the first stages are definitely a lot slower, but definitely big ups and keep on... Um, Definitely keep on going with that, and I will definitely hit an upvote on that picture. Uh, here we got Zilla Hero three years ago versus now. So this is three years ago on the right. And this is uh, this is versus now, and the differences that I'm seeing here is the coloring of his dreads. It looks like he has put some bleach in his hair, getting that copper tone up. <clears throat> And it looks like uh, his mustache has grown in a little bit more too. Definitely rocking some nice Not Nation merch. This is my favorite merch piece that I have available. Um, links in the description for anybody looking for merch. All the stores are down there. Just take a look, take a browse. Let me know what you like. But yeah, definitely looking good. I like this a lot. I've already uploaded that one. Um, Kinetic Candem Biala has four beaver tail locks here. Four locks on the entire head and they're all beaver tails. You got one in the middle, one on the side, one on each side, and then one on the back. That is crazy. This is very unique. You know what? I could imagine he catches a lot of grief from people in his life regarding his hair, but you know, I definitely can see that he's got thick skin. He's got that confidence growing within him to be able to rock this hairstyle natty naturally and confidently and happy so definitely big ups to you man for rocking such sick locks and thick locks and i really hope that you keep on this journey to grow these really lengthy because i would love to see an update uh on the years down the road and that's a session and that's a portion of me doing these review sessions because I want to encourage you guys and girls to keep on growing your locks past the awkward stage, past the baby stage, and well into maturity because the more dreadheads on this world, the better the world is. And that's just my opinion. It might not be true at all. but So as you can see here, I do come on here and I post some videos that I've, that I've put up. Um, next here we got Lil Zhao Yu, a little over four months in. His locks looking like they've been partly crocheted, maybe backcombed. The crochet hook and effect here on the tips, he's made them all blunted. And he's still got a lot of frizzy hair. Embracing the frizz, it looks like, the most part. Embracing that frizz. Uh, but I think that these look great as well. Definitely big ups, man. And I uh, appreciate you sending in those pictures. Definitely a little upvote there. Uh, this was a photo that I took of myself here. Uh, on the trampoline, <laughs> just jumping up, free forms all over the place, having a little fun with the camera. You know, got some good times there. Um, hey, I love the channel. I've been watching for years. This is my hair. Does anyone have any advice for starting my dreads? I'm considering free form because I'm all into the natural route. Yes, this hair is actually perfect for free forming. 
with your natural curl pattern I can already see how it would want to lock up on its own so essentially to grab this into locks right now freeform route is just washing with cold water residue free shampoo air drying as much as you can and just letting those curls naturally take place it will work it will take a long time just be patient and be dedicated is all I can really say on that but I, I do have high faith in you my friends so keep it up keep that up um, I cross posted this from Dread Indian uh, Dread Indian definitely has the longest locks that I've ever seen um, on the social platforms all the way down to the floor pretty much like he's he is crazy with it actually his locks are down to his ankles and he is free forming them in straight out of India man sick locks um, here's seven months of growing still pretty short but there's lots of time for this to grow in for this to get lengthier definitely big ups there man looking great Nati Dread by Cornerstone 25 free forming them in baby locks still uh, we can see the first stages of the locks coming in and it looks like now bigger Congos are forming as well dude is growing in the beard as well I can see some beard locks coming in so definitely big up to Africa here Ghana in the building loving the way his freeform dreads are looking um, fresh out the shower this photo came in from a lovely lady she looks like she's got a fresh retwist going on here as well um, dreadhead samurai with the 45 these locks looking pretty dope these are crinkled with the fresh braid out to achieve this look you do have to have your hair braided for a few days and then you take it out loving the shirt afro samurai in the building looking fantastic i used to watch that show i was really into the anime to be honest this guy's just started his dreadlock journey from a little fro now having some little twists blessings to your journey sir uh, this is the freeform locks are for everyone video tree smoke tree sent in this photo of his locks I love the way that the tips are on these dreadlocks how they're wispy and curly and free no blunting required and blunting in general isn't even really requ required on a dreadlock journey anymore it's not it's not necessary look he's even got a dread on his shirt Lil Wayne rocking the locks legendary dreadhead has been a motivator for many people um, this is two strand twist I've been letting lock up for the past three months feels liberating thus far from Raina Baina so what she says here is she's got some two strand twist that she's left in ultimately free forming now these into locks now I have very similar hair type I have tried this two strand twist in the past for me these twists down here like this did not lock up at all I had to take the twist out part and interlock them together the new growth I could have freeformed it but I ended up deciding to interlock it and this was on my first set of locks so I've learned a lot from this process mainly learning that two strand twist doesn't really hold up all that well it does for some people but not for everybody Lil Key, 11 month free forming. Ask any questions if you have any. Looking sick. He's almost at that one year mark. And I already see some Congos happening. Lots of frizzy and loopy loose ends here. Looking fantastic. Questions that he's got here. Looking sick. How long do you think you're going to keep them? He says, I don't know yet. About to make 20 in two weeks. So I'm probably going to do these till I'm 30. So about 10 years. Then cut them and start a full head of free forms. Because this is just half a head. Because I get around all around fade. So 10 years of these right now. They're gonna look sick in 10 years, bro. I really hope that you get to that benchmark in your life. Um, big question. Why do you have drop why do you have locks? Why do you have locks? I know I ask this a lot, but let me know in the comments below, forever and always, why you do have locks. It's a damn good question to have. And always a good conversation starter. Uh, as you can see, lots of different colors and lots of new growth. This guy's got some 6'9 locks coming into play here. Really interesting. 
Um, not sure if these are real or not. It looks like they might be a, might have been added in there because the front of his head is not dreaded at all. Very confusing. This is some braided dreads here. Interesting setup. Kind of look like XXX dreads braided up. I like the look. I like the look. Uh, a better view of my nine years locked, five year free form. So she was locking for four, four years and then she went free forming for the last latest couple of years. The last latest couple. Uh, but they look great. And I love the natural fade in the color of her hair. I love how it's gone gray. I secretly admire and want to have my hair the same color naturally one day as well. So I'm definitely big up for the elder lock inspiration here. You know, every single time. Amazing. Um, yo, big ups to Ronald. 907 Ronald out of Alaska. He's got the bleach blonde freeform locks coming into play. Also rocking the Abu Dhabi hairband here, straight out of the desert. Looking dope. Definitely want to link up in Alaska one day, my friend. That would be dope to go out there and check out the world. Uh, here we go. A year and a year and a month from Tesuanzum. Hard name to pronounce. Loving the photo. The naturalness of the locks versus the naturalness of the trees and the plants. They kind of look one and the same, don't they? This is our Natty Roots at its best. This is Roots rock in general. This photo is, is amazing. I love this imagery right here. So much thanks for posting that photo in the group. Got a few more here. Uh, this is Two Months Dreads by Black Ink Number One. Um, looks like this could have been started by Dread Sponge, but also just freeformed in. Loving the process here. Freeform locks. This is the, obviously the Bob Marley fro stage, and it, it's spectacular. So keep it up. And lastly, here, celebrating my one year Dread Adversary. A little more freeforms, and I am so happy to see many more people freeforming their hair these days. And um, you know, I don't really feel like I've done a part in helping this, but you know, subtly and humbly, I, I do recognize that these videos and this content and this channel has helped a lot of people decide to go the Natty route. And I'm thankful for that because I feel more people have gone the Natty route versus my old interlocking route. And this definitely, it, it feels good on the soul to know that. So big ups for sending that picture in there, brother man. And this is a update from three months ago of my lock so I'm probably about five years six or seven months right now uh, and this was when I still had rubber bands in my Congo back here and um, you can see even on my locks here how there's I like to call these dimples in a little bit because they do they do kind of like divot in and that is a true sign of some freeform locks is when your hair kind of dimples like that this is not able to be achieved through any other method of dreadlocked. You can't retwist that, you can't interlock that, you can't back home into the hair like this. It's only achievable with freeforms and that's why they're so unique and that's why I push that to the masses the most. Because I want people to have a unique hairstyle to themselves every single time. So um, definitely big ups everybody that has joined over here on the Not Nation reddit a page we are at 89 members by the end of this video i'm hoping that we surpass that 100 member mark and um that would be awesome you know hopefully we can get to a thousand as well eventually one day but um if you haven't already just join reddit i will leave a link down below for anybody interested in joining the community and posting some pictures and whatnot uh, because i will be coming back to this sub reddit to do more dreadlock reviews in the future. So it's always worthwhile for you to come here and post your pictures up. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna end this video here and um, I'll see you guys next time. So until then, peace out, one love, stay happy and natty, and I'll see you guys in the next dreadlock video. I'm gone.